Next, we're going to take a look at programming velocity map patches in combinators. Velocity is the message that corresponds to how hard or soft you're playing on the keyboard. So if you're playing pianissimo notes, the sound is soft. Or if you're playing forte, mezzo forte, it gets louder. So that layer of interaction on how hard or soft you play can be incorporated into a combinator patch as well. So let's start by creating a combinator. And then in the sub rack, let's go and create a line mixer. Here's a neat trick. Uh, if you have a device existing in the rack, you can cut it. Let's take this piano. And if you hold down the shift key and then select the paste, the device will automatically be cabled into the mixer. So now let me play some notes so we can verify that this is working. Okay, piano is playing through the combinator now. And so I'm going to do this again. I'm going to hold down the shift key. I'm going to paste devices and tracks. So now I have two pianos. But this is what I'm going to do differently. I'm going to take one of these patches. And we'll take the second one here. I'm going to select all of the sample zones and then change the play mode so that they play backwards. All right, before I get too far into it, I want to make sure that I have these labeled properly. Call that one piano. Call this reverse piano. Now I'm going to go into the Combinator Programmer and start mapping these different velocity layers. Over here in the key mapping area, you'll see a couple of numbers assigned to velocity range. This is where you set your velocity zones. So for the piano sound, the normal forward playing piano sound, I'm going to set this value pretty high. Let's set it to about 100. And then for the reverse piano, I'm going to set that high value down to 99. So now I have these two devices mapped to different velocity zones. Uh, when I play hard notes into the keyboard, the regular piano will be triggered. And when I play softly, the reverse piano will be triggered. I'll play something hard. Then I'll play something softly. So this is a, a velocity switching architecture. I have two different sound modules and only one of them will play depending on, on the dynamics of the velocity message. For this sound, I want to do something a little different. So let's go back into the programmer and I want to restore the velocity range of the normal piano so that it plays across the entire range of dynamics from 0 to 127. And then I'm going to leave the velocity zone for uh, the reverse piano. Actually, maybe I'll lower that down a bit to about 88. So now, on certain parts, I'm going to have both sounds playing. As I gradually play louder, I'm only going to hear the piano sound. Let's go and add an effect to this. Let's add a reverb, because I want to kind of wash out those reverse sounds. Let me go back and change a few parameters on the sampler. I'm going to add the spread modulation over the keys. And then I'm going to transpose that up a couple of octaves. I'm going to add one more layer um, that's velocity mapped with another NNXT sampler. I'm going to select guitar and plucked. Do this acoustic steel. So now that's layered. Open up the programmer. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to reverse these. I'm going to select all. Change the playback mode to backwards. Then I need to adjust the sample end positions down to about 40%. I don't want these noises in here, so let's go and delete these. Select two, four. We'll delete those. 
Now I want to insert an effect. RV7000 Advanced Reverb. Then I'm going to select Kick Bomb. We'll decrease the dry wet value. Let's create another RV7000 Reverb. Reverse space repeats. Just the dry wet value. Now I want to set this velocity zone just to the very top of the dynamic range. So we'll set that to about 100. So now I'm going to play notes that go through each one of these ranges. We'll start with a very soft note. So you hear the piano and the reverse piano. And there's the piano with the reverse processed guitar. Let's take a listen to all three of these sounds layered now that I've got the guitars mapped to the upper end of the velocity scale. Now this combinator patch is more like a sampler stack because you have the piano layered with the other affected pianos and guitars, except that you have velocity switching controlling which layers of embellishments you're hearing over that primary piano. And combined with the effects chains, you have this unique piano-based instrument. 